Good morning everyone, Tiffany Quinn here and this is your push versus pull upper body combo. Today's workout will help you strengthen and sculpt into your chest and your shoulders with a combination of body weight only and dumbbell exercises. All you need for equipment today is your light to medium weight dumbbells and of course if you don't have any weights at home you can use two filled water bottles to substitute. Now smash that thumbs up button for me, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to grab this month's free February workout guide from the links below. This calendar is going to give you five workouts a week, take the guesswork out of what to work out and when, and help you get results at home. All right, squad, let's do this. What's up, everybody? Welcome to our upper body combo for today. Now, throughout today's workout, we have six supersets in total, for which we'll be doing a 45-second strength exercise, followed by another 45 seconds of strength, then we've got a 30 second body weight only and then a 30 seconds rest after that. So we've got three sets for the shoulders, three sets for the chest, and as we hit the end of this workout, we're gonna go through all of those sets one more time through. So grab a hold of your weights, I've got my eight pounds in hand. With both hands, we're gonna bring the palms in towards the shoulder into an Arnold press and lower. Going in three, going in two, going in one. The back is straight, we've got a hip width distance apart with the feet, it's up, two, lower, two. Up, two, lower, two. All right, so I'm gonna warn you ahead of time. It's going to burn pretty bad as we get further into these sets. The shoulders light up quick. However, we are gonna get through this whole thing together. And if you've got a little bit of a variety of weights with you today, I would certainly have those out. It's perfectly okay to drop down the weight if it becomes too much. All I want for you today is to keep on going. Up, two, lower, two, another three, and down and two, and down. Last one, two, three, four. This time we alternate and lower. To the right and lower. Now your elbows should be at a 30 degree angle here. I don't want them straight out away from you. Take them a little bit towards the front. Not only is it gonna make it more challenging, but it's gonna isolate your front anterior deltoid, which is exactly what we wanna work into. Over to the left and down to the right and down. Our final five seconds we're going to use to come down to the mat as we transition into a wide push-up. Up, two, lower, two, another four, another three, last two, last one on the right. Now bring those weights with you. We come down towards the mat. You go at your own pace here into a high plank or on the knees. We're coming down and lifting up. Coming down, lifting up. The back is straight, the core is tight, you're squeezing the glutes, you're squeezing the quads, you're here for that burn today. Let's get through it. Trying to keep the wrists exactly where they are. Nothing moving except for those arms. You've got 10 seconds. Give me everything you've got, as many as you can get here. Quality over quantity. One more for me. Lift it up, amazing job. All right, so just like that, we've gotten through our first set. You have a 30 second rest from here. And we're gonna go into another Arnold press, but we're gonna vary it up a little bit. So back into standing, or in kneeling if you prefer, one of those weights, we press up, we lower, press out, bring it in. You've got 10 seconds. So it's 45 seconds for each side, and then we're back to the mat again. All right, going in five, in four, three, two, one, let's take it away. Up, two, lower, two, press it out to the front and in. You're staying at shoulder height when you come to that front press. Try to stay strong, control the motion. I don't want you rushing it. So if you do need to lighten the weight, go right ahead. Otherwise, if it's too easy, pick up a heavier weight for me to the front and back. Up, two, lower, two, press to the front, bring it in. 15 seconds to go, stay strong, I know it's burning. I think the shoulder circuits are always the hardest. They light up quick and they're a huge muscle group in our upper body. To the front and back. Another three. And press. Last two. And press. Finish it off and switch sides. Over to the right, up, lower, out, and in. Up, lower, out, and in. Great job. Now when we come to the mat this time, rather than being in a high plank, we're going to put those weights over to the side and come into a low plank with the hands clasped. So get that in mind now. You've got 25 seconds and then we switch to that body weight only move, which honestly I think could be a little bit harder than using the weights, right? Press, lower to the front and back. Another four. Another three. Stay strong. 
Another two. You can do this. One more for me. Press lower to the front. Bring it in. Down from the mat into a low plank position. Clasp the hands together. Come up onto those toes. We press the hips upward. We lower down. Dolphin plank. Follow your eye line here. Trying to push those hips up a little bit higher if you can. It's also going to work into the back muscles a bit. I like this variation. We've got a few different variations for push-ups today. Let's take it two more times. And down. Finish it off. And lower down. All right. How are we feeling? Not too horrible, right? So we're going to grab a hold of one weight once again. We're coming into a single side kneel. If you'd prefer, you can do this in standing. The weight comes into the side that you're kneeling on. We're going to bring the arm up into a 90 degree angle, 30 degree angle with that arm. In 10 seconds, we press for two, we lower for two. Still working on the shoulders. In four, three, two, and one. Up, two, lower, two. Up, two, lower, two. 45 seconds each side. And then we've got our final body weight only for the shoulders supersets. After that, we're going into chest muscles. So just like that, you've already gotten through a quarter of the workout. And down, up, two, lower, two. That's a lot of why I like the extended interval frames because it does go through. It goes by a lot quicker. Personal opinion there, I don't know about you. Up, two, lower, two. Slight bend in the elbow at the top, facing straight ahead. The rib cage is down. Another three, another two. Last one, use the three seconds to switch sides. Going in three, in two, in one, two, lower, two, up, two, lower, two. When you come down, I want the elbow in line with the shoulders so we're not sinking it super low. You're stronger than you think, just keep on going. Power through, the chest is lifted, you're excited. You're giving me a smile. You know you're getting stronger just by showing up. I don't care if you did one rep, two reps, 800 reps, you showed up and lower, another five, another four, another three, high plank after this, and two, last one, lower that weight down to the mat, come into your high plank position from here, Ooh, this one gets bad, we're gonna lift the hips up like we did before, as we come down, elbows in towards the waist, and lift the chest, staying on those toes for me, and raise, Hips back to the front and raise. Yes, it burns. You're almost there. You've got another 10 seconds. Try to make it smooth. Control. Last one forward. Come up into that plank. Hold for two, for one, and lower down. From here, you can grab a hold of your heavier weights. We are going into our wide chest presses to start. So light weights over to the side for this superset. Hips are in line with your feet, feet in line with the hips, et cetera, et cetera. I want the palms facing away from you. We're coming down for two and up for two into our wide chest press. So let's bring those weights up, get into position. Shoulders away from the ears, going in three, two, one. It's down, two, lift, two. I want you a hairline away from the mat when you bring those elbows down. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So right now I've got my 15 pound weight. If you're going heavier than I am today, if you're using your 20s, your 30s, wherever you might be at, you might want to slow this down a bit. That's okay, go at your own pace. I'm just here to guide you, okay? And lift for two. Down for two. And lift for two. Another four. Breathe through it. Another three. Another two. Last one down. Now as you come back up, I want you to turn the palms slightly facing in. They're at a 30 degree angle. We come down forming an A shape. A like the letter A in apple. Down, two, lift, two. Varying it up a little bit. Amazing. 30 seconds left here. Now this time, instead of doing a body weight only exercise, we're gonna play with gravity a little bit, okay? Lift, two, lower. 20 seconds, stay strong, squeeze those front chest muscles, working into the pectorals, one of my favorite upper body areas to work, and lift, down, two, up, 
two, last two, last one. Now take the palms, face them towards the feet once again. It's down, two, stop on the floor, and lift back up. One, two, stop on the floor, raise it back up. So you're taking away that momentum, and then you're pushing back up. Breathing out as you come down, inhaling as you press against the weight. Great job, incredible. How are we feeling? We've got 10 seconds left here. Give me another two, and lift. Last one, stop, lift, finish that timer off, bring the weights in towards the waist and lower them down. So for this next one, I would suggest going a little bit lighter because we will be working into flies. So if you go too heavy, it could actually harm your rotator cuff. So let's lighten the load a bit. Next up, we're starting with our palms in wide press. So the palms are facing in towards each other. We come out towards the side like we would with a regular wide chest press and lift. Going in five, four, three, two, you ready? Here we go. Elbows out towards the side, hairline away from the floor and up. One, two, three, four. Okay, by now you should be feeling those chest muscles laid up. So when we hit the end of these supersets, because you've only got one more after this, if you felt like this was too easy, I want you to grab a heavier weight, all right? Down, two, up, two. If it was too hard, lighten the load. Not a problem. Down, two, lift, two. You gotta make this work out your own. It's so important to do that to keep yourself going. Another two. Last one, now hold it at the bottom for me. Pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bring it up, palms stay in. We come out towards the side and raise. Take your time here, no rush, shoulders away from the ears, chin is tucked in towards the chest, the rib cage is down, you're focused, you're feeling strong, you might be burning, but you're gonna keep on going and raise. All the way down and raise. We've got a fun one after this that I haven't shown you for probably two and a half years at this point. <laughs> So once we hit that five second mark, we're gonna use those five seconds to transition. Come down and raise. Two more for me. Last one. Now as you bring those up, I want you to take your hands and bring them right below the shoulders. We're actually coming up onto those weights. Dig the heels in in front of you, slight bend in the knee. We're gonna hip raise up, and then we pull our torso through the arms. Now follow your eye line here. We're gonna get a little bit of glute action as well, but working on the rotation here. Up and pull the body through. Keeping up on those weights. You've got 15 seconds, take your time. It'll take you a second to get this move right. Lift and pull it through. One more for me. Pull through and we can come up to standing. So last set and then we go straight to the top. So you are already halfway through the workout. Once we get done with this set, we're gonna take both of our lighter weights and hold them at chest level. I'm gonna grab a sip of water first. The palms are facing in and down. 10 seconds. That water bottle always does that pop. I kind of like it when I go to edit. It's like pop. <laughs> All right, so weights in hand. We bring them up. We're staying up as long as we can. It's down and lift. Down and lift. Elbows are at shoulder level here. Back is staying straight, keeping the arms up and the elbows away from you. Down and lift, down and lift. If you need to modify, take both arms down, lift, lower, lift, lower. We're just keeping tension right here as we keep the arms up. Incredible. We've got this. We are already halfway through. Can you believe that? I feel like this has gone by super, super fast, especially even having push-ups in there. Now after this one, we're gonna bring the weights together. We've got one more body weight only to cover, and that's it, that sums up your workout. We just gotta go through it one more time. Down, and lift, finish off on that other side. Bring the weights together, keeping the back straight to 45 raise, and elbows in towards the waist. Take your time, no rush. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I want the core super tight here. Follow the weights with your eyes and bring them in towards the chest. 20 seconds. After this, we're gonna walk out into a push-up and then bring it back up. We wanna end at the standing point when we do the body weight only exercise. You'll see what I mean in 10 seconds. 
So by now, you should be familiar with all these exercises. I want you to give it everything you've got for that next round. Last push, bring it in, lower the weights to the mat. We walk all the way down. One, two, three, four. Wide push up, lift. Bring it back up. 30 seconds. Squeeze the glutes to the top too. Let's get a little bit of that in there as well. Kind of making it a full body workout at this point. Squeezing your core throughout. Out, two, three, four. Bring it down, walk it up. You should get one more in there for me. Burn the timer out. Lift up, walk back, and into our starting position. So not so bad. So you've got six supersets to go. These are gonna fly by. We're gonna grab a hold of those lighter weights again. Now, like I said before, if this was too easy in the beginning, pick up a heavier weight and slow the reps down a bit. In 10 seconds, we go into our Arnold presses. It's out, it's in. Going in five, Whew, catch your breath. Four, three, two, one, let's go. Up, two, lower, two, up, two, lower, two. Enjoy that burn. Think about working the shoulders. Think about keeping the abs nice and tight. Know that every single rep you're getting stronger. Every time you show up, every minute you finish makes that difference. You don't want to leave the last 15 minutes of your, of your workout. If you were to do that every day, you're missing quite a few workouts. And down. Build that consistency. And down. One, two, three, before we alternate after this. Another three. Another two. Last one. Bring the weights in to the left and down to the right and down. We've got the deep push-ups after this. Two more for shoulders, three more for chest. Who's making it through it? I know you are. And this is our lean out and lift guide, right? It wasn't meant to be easy. Workouts are supposed to challenge you. Not everything's gonna be perfect. And I feel like I should remind you that not every workout is perfect. You're gonna have stronger days. You're gonna have weaker days. There will be days you can pick up 20 pounds, no problem. And days of that 20 pounds, feels like you're trying to move a mountain. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Last three. Last two. Last one. Let's come down to the mat into those deep push-ups. Please do take your time. No hurry here. I want you to think about squeezing the core, bracing the quads, coming down, lifting up. 30 seconds. Not even. We only have to do this one more time, right? And lift. Back is staying straight. If you need to take a break between, come down and then jump back into it. 10 seconds. Another two. And lift. Last one, and push. Oh, that last one got tough. All right, <clears throat> coming back into standing, or you could stay down here on the mat. I think I will stay down here, actually. If you are in kneeling, you wanna really brace your core here, all right? So that palm comes in, we've got that front press on either side, and then we've got our dolphin push-up, and one more set for shoulders. 10 seconds. Get through it, get through the tough stuff. The harder exercises, are the ones that are helping you progress. In three, in two, in one. Lift, lower to the front, bring it in. One, two, three, four. Control, coming out at shoulder level. Facing straight ahead, giving me a smile. Even throw a few curse words my way, I'm cool with it. To the front and back. Press, lower, forward, in. 15 seconds. Only 15 seconds. My shoulders are absolutely on fire today. I've actually been training with my 35, my 40, and my 50 pound weights throughout a majority of the week. So I am burning, all right? So if you're burning, I'm burning. We're gonna keep doing this together. We're gonna get through it. Lift, lower, front, back, change sides. To the right, lower, front, back. One, two, three, Four. So while we're here, I'll tell you a funny story. So I bought two guinea pigs. It was about five, maybe six weeks ago. Well, the one seems to have trouble going to the bathroom, right? So he's squeaking and I bring him to the vet. So he's on all these antibiotics. So I've been running around taking care of him, feeding him, giving him three different medicines three times a day to the front, back 20 seconds. Then I walk upstairs the other day and the other one has a scratch in his eyeball and it was swollen. So we bring him in 
he's actually okay. The other one we're still caring for and trying to have him on the med. But it has been a hectic week to the front, back, press, lower last time to the front, bring it in, into our low plank position. We've got our dolphin push up, hands together, up onto those feet, hips come up and lower down. Hips lift up and lower down. Yeah, so they've been a lot of work. Uh, <laughs> But it is fun, you know, I'm just hoping that the one gets better. So say a little happy note for him. Arlo and Scully, lift and lower. Another two. And down. Last one. And down. All right, 30 second rest. Final set for shoulders, straight in the chest, and that's it. So this is your 75% way of the workout. It helps to know, right? little bit of incentive to keep on going. So from here, coming into that kneel, weight in the side that you're kneeling on, bring that elbow up to shoulder level, 30 degree angle here, not straight out, 30 degrees, in three, two, one, it's press, two, lower, two, press, two, lower. And so what you don't want to see here is this, all right? Keep the rib cage tucked down, squeeze the core in tight, hips are facing forward, up, two, lower, two. So right after this workout, I've gotta go give the one his medicine and his food, which is like a critical care mush. It's really lovely. It's not at all. <laughs> two, lower, two, but it smells like licorice, so that's kinda nice if you like licorice. Up, two, lower, two. I'm taking your mind off the burn as best I can. We've got 10 seconds. Up, two, lower, two. Another three. Another two. Last one, two, changing sides, front leg knee on the other side, bring that arm up, two, and lower, two. <laughs> Excuse me, <laughs> and down. One, two, three, four, control. Not racing through it. When you're racing through reps, you're really not getting much out of it, you wanna slow it down. Think about the muscles you're working, think about the shoulder muscles, think about keeping the core contracted, you're bracing your abs, you're squeezing them in, you're feeling that burn, you're feeling stronger every time you get through another one. And lower, even if you're shaking, you're trembling, you're wobbling, you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. And lower. Another two. Last one. Now this time I'm gonna show you a modifier. If you do wanna stick with the diver push-up, you can, otherwise, Feet at hip width distance, relax them down, hands below the armpits. We lift up, lifting the quads up and keeping the back straight. So it's up, two, lower, two. So if the diver push up was too much to do, you can stick with that cobra push up and learn from there. I always like to show you another variation you can do just to keep you going. Lift, two, lower, two, bring it up and in. All right into our chest, our final three circuits, into our chest. That sounds a little funny, but I think you know what I meant. So grabbing hold of your heavier weights this time. Like I said before, I've got my 15. The feet are hip width distance apart. The palms are facing away. Grab water if you need it. You've got a whole 10 seconds. Kind of sounds like a lot when I say it that way, right? <laughs> All right, going in five, four, three, two on one, down, Two, lift, two, down, two, lift, two. You're doing incredible. Think about every time we're laying on the mat, working into our chest muscles, it's almost a break, right? You can pick up a little bit heavier. You get to relax the head down. You don't have to squeeze your core as tight. It's a little bit simpler. So I want you to push to your max here. Pick up those heavier weights if you can, if you have them, and if you don't, and you have been doing this for about three, four months, it might be time to invest. And once you invest something in it, by the way, you end up being a little bit more dedicated because you put something into it besides just your energy. Up, two, lower, two. Now as you come up, let's turn the palms with that 30 degree angle, forming that A shape as we come down. And lift. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, Four. Now after this, we're gonna change the exercise that we did before. This time we're putting the weights down, all right? And lift, 25 seconds. So yes, we do have a body weight only exercise coming up. Next, I want you to come into your high plank position for me. So think about where you're headed in the next 30 seconds. Down, two, lift, 
two and know that you've only got two more sets after this. You're gonna get through it. Down, two, lift, two, give me one more, one more up. Weights come in towards the waist, lower them down, coming into your high plank. You guessed it, we're going into a push-up. This time when we come down, lift the hands off the mat and come back up. And lift, press up. Breathe in as you come up. You got this, keep the back straight. If you need to, come to the knees. So let's try to lift the hands up. Take away that momentum and back in that push up. One more. Lift the hands, press, come on the knees, shake out the arms, grab a hold of your lighter weights for me this time because we have our flies and our palms in presses. We're almost there, okay? Almost there. Two more to go. You can make it through these two. You made it through the first run, right? There's no excuse to not make it through the second run. If you need to, lighten the weight. If it was too easy, make the load heavier. It should be challenging, very challenging by those last two reps. In four, three, two, one. The palms are in, out towards the side like you would a chest press, and raise. Whew, breathe through it. Breathe in as you come up. Breathe out on the way down. Now the breathing pattern here, it doesn't have to be perfect, but generally speaking, as you're pushing against the resistance, you want to bring oxygen towards the muscles. So that's why I say inhale as you push. Down for two. Lift for two, but if it's not perfect, please don't panic about it. And up. Down. Two. Lift. Two. Not every move is the same, right? And we're all at different levels, so no matter what weights I'm using versus what you're using, it doesn't matter. Eventually, you're going to get there. You're going to get stronger. You just have to keep going. And lift. You really can't fail if you never quit. Down, two, up, two. Now take the arms out towards the side and raise. Trying not to hit my water bottle out to the side and raise. Keep the shoulders away from the ears. You don't want them hunched up. Trying to come down as low as you can. Thinking about squeezing the chest muscles on the way up. And lift. We've got the plank pull throughs after this. So just like before, we're gonna use those final five seconds to get into position. And raise. Another two. And raise. Last one. Bring it up. Now bring the weights in towards the waist. Take them right behind you, directly below the shoulders. Dig the heels in, slight bend of the knee. Lift the hips up high and pull your upper body through the arms. Lift and pull it through. It's a little core, it's a little of glutes, it's a lot of arms, and pull through. Following the eye line. Not rounding the back, okay? Keeping the back straight, you don't need to overdo it here. Pushing off those heels. Another two. Last one. Pull it through, hold for just a second, and lower yourself down. <laughs> Incredible, you're doing great. We've got one more to go, and then that's it for our workout today. So come back up to standing for me. Again, holding both of those weights. We're going to hold them up nice and high. Your girl here needs some more water. Let's hear the water bottle pop. I think I'm going to call it that from now on. I like it. There it is. All right. In seven seconds, the weights are coming up towards the shoulders. And we come down and lift. Down and lift. Let's go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So those of you who already have the tone bands, the adjustables, I have been thinking about possibly making a hip band that we don't adjust for like, for example, for our jumping exercises, like squat jumps, so we don't have to even take the time to adjust. But I was debating, do I do like a cheetah print? Do I do a tropical print? Um, I also looked at pancake ones <laughs> and donuts. I kind of really like the donuts, you guys. So I'm gonna order a few samples and see what we come up with. I'll probably show you on Instagram, so if you don't have me on Instagram yet, go find me there, because in the stories at some point, you're gonna see different bands come up, but I do want your opinion on it. Last one on the right, bring the weights together. A lot of talking today, I'm sorry. Up towards the front and lower. Up towards the front and lower, 45 degree angle. One more body weight only exercise. Then that's it. And if you did not grab it yet, you do have your lean out lift guide in the links below. That calendar will give you five workouts a week. So if you're brand new to me, I do this every single month to help you take the guesswork out of what to work out and when. I know that's something that I used to follow, okay? With the calendar, it told me exactly what I needed. It really, really helps. 
And if you print it out and cross things off, that also really, really helps. Another three. Another two. Last one. Lower the weights to the side. Our final walkout. We hold a plank for these last 30 seconds. Slight bend the knees as you come down. And hold. All I want you to do is hold right here. Hold strong for me. Squeeze your core nice and tight. Incredible. Now, we're going to slowly come down into a push-up for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now hold at the bottom for five, four, three, two, one. Bring it up. Lower the knees to the ground. I hope you feel it in your arms. I know tomorrow you definitely are. So good luck putting your hair up. Thanks for joining me, everyone. I love you, and I will see you for our next one. <laughs> Fabulous job today, everyone. Now let's find out who's bold enough to tag me in a flex arm photo on Instagram. You know that'll make my day, and of course, I'll know you did your workout. Now smash the thumbs up button for me, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and don't forget to grab this month's free February fitness guide from the links below. This calendar will give you five workouts a week, a brand new one every Wednesday, and of course, help you get results at home. Next week is our 20 minute intense abs workout, so turn the notifications on so you don't miss it. Until then, just keep following that calendar, and I'll see you for the next one.